Alright guys, I'm here with the new version of Windpoint. Windpoint 2.5 actually, going with the new GUI, it looks really nice. I actually like it better than Win I mean, Ponage Tool and Quick Phone GUI. You know Quick Phone has the same as Ponage Tool. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like right now, and I'm going to show you how to use it and everything. Um, and my iPod Touch right here. I'm not actually going to um, pawn and jailbreak it and restore it um, for you in the video. First, because it would take too long, and second, because it's already pawned. Um, I just got a small haircut, so it could be easy. My hair could be easier to manage. If any of you guys are wondering, I don't think any of you guys would care, but there are some weird people. Believe me. Um, about it, I have to tell you for right now. And now I'm gonna go to the computer screen and show you how to extract everything and download it, or whatever. Now, yeah, I have a leopard thing, and on my laptop I have. A dock on Windows. Uh, yes, a leopard dock on Windows. I will probably show you guys how to do that later. Just not right now because I'm making the Windpwn video for you guys. So when you download, you should get a WinRAR file or a .zip file or whatever. And it says Windpwn 2.5 Beta in capital letters. Um, so just right click on it, click Extract Files, and if you're using WinRAR, you'll get this window in about 5 seconds. Just pick desktop and click OK. It doesn't take that long to extract. I've already extracted mine. Um, if you don't have WinRAR or something to extract it, I'll have a link in the description to download it. And I have like all the WinPone setups right here. But this is the WinPone 2.5 beta setup. And this is what you'll get when you click the setup. It'll come out in your most close empty space anywhere on your desktop um this you get next next and install and you'll get the install it's done you'll get a readme you don't really need to read the readme and just click finish and I have winpone 2.5 right here this is 2.4 2.5 so just click it open it um pretty easy install and this is the new winpone I like it personally um, you'll get iPhone 3G on the right, iPod Touch in the middle, and an iPhone all the way on the left. And you will get, on the bottom it says, the select of a device you want to pwn by clicking on the image. You can always start over again by clicking on the reset button, upper left button. Right here is the restart button. If you ever mess up, you think you did something wrong. Um, so, and these three top buttons, right now it's on custom. If you want to switch to quick pwn, this is the quick pwn way right here and then you can switch back to custom I already recommend doing custom because the quick pwn way isn't that good but if you want to do a quick pwn then use that or just use quick pwn and those are the two things for that and expert on off um, this means if you don't want to install installer or make your root partition bigger or something then turn that on it's like specifics so you get to select whatever you want it to install automatically. So I'm going to turn it on to show, just to show you all the features for WinPone. Um, and leave it on custom. That's what I recommend. And I don't think you need the help button because that's what this video is for. And I'm on an iPod Touch. So I'm going to click the iPod Touch. And I'll have a link to download the 2.0.2 firmware because this is basically what this WinPone is for. And I'm on, I have a firmware file for 2.0.1 so I'm going to pick 2.0.1 but you should be picking 2.0.2 or whatever you want to use don't recommend 2.0 because it's really buggy before we're going to build IPSW here are a few questions do you want to install the YouTube activation fix um if you're on an iPhone for AT&T legit contract and everything I suggest you well not a suggestion you should you should not or else your iPhone will not have service press no if you're on AT&T do not install YouTube activation fix but if you're on an iPod touch or if you're on T-Mobile or something else, and click yes. Do you want to install Cydia? Yes, of course, because that's where the packages are at. Installer 4? Yes, if you want it. I'm going to click yes. I would recommend it. Do you want to resize the root partition? Yes, because it's really small. Do you want to wipe data? Restore will take longer. Um, what this means, it'll delete all your data from your iPod Touch. Not as in all the apps and everything, but it, like your music and your contacts or anything you have on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So I I would recommend you click um no 
even though it does take longer because then it will take long to put all your stuff back on there. So I'm gonna pick no. And do you want to use custom resto boot restore logos? Yeah, if you want a custom look to your iPhone or iPod Touch, I would pick yes, so pick yes. Root partition size, I usually make it about 700, which is 700 or 1000, which is the root uh, default right now at 700. So you can put it to about 1000 megabytes, which is a gig. That's what I recommend, or the default 700 is also good because that's what I'm using right now and it's worked out pretty fine. So I'm going to leave it at 700, go next. And select custom logos. You can pick browse, search online. Um, I'll have a site where you can get custom logos that are already the right size and everything, so you don't have to do anything. In the description, I'll have the firmware in the description too. I'll have the links to download, info in the description. I'll have anything you need in the description. Um, but you can't browse online right now because their servers won't let you because there's so much traffic. So just click next. And searching for iPod 2.0.1, it it searches for it automatically, so you don't actually actually have to find it. So it found it and it's hashing it, and it only takes about 30 seconds, not even. Um, building custom IPSW file. Now you just have to pick where you want to save it because it already found it by itself. I'm gonna click my desktop, and I already have one, and I'm gonna click to replace it because it's gonna be the same thing. So it'll build the custom IPSW file, and it doesn't take that long also, but I really don't want to wait too many seconds. And it's already built it, pretty much, it's just that it's waiting for it to finish. Um, I have my 2.0, 2.0.1, and I haven't downloaded 2.0.2, I'm still on 2.0.1. But when it's done, which my I have already built my custom IPSW before, um, it'll appear like this: I, iPod one comma one underscore two point zero point one underscore five b one zero eight custom restore. Just as long as it's two point zero with custom, it has to say custom restore. You're good. So open up iTunes. Make sure your iPod or iPhone is connected and put it into DFU mode. If you don't know how to put it into DFU mode, um, there is a tutorial in WinPone when you're done on how to put it in DFU mode, but I don't want to show you guys that because it'll take too long, and it's kind of lengthy and has a lot of words. I don't think anybody really likes to read, and I don't like to read either. So, right here, my iPod Touch. All you have to do is hold down the home button and the um, power button at the same time, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you just have to count to ten. Um, I'd suggest doing the one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand method. And when it does, when you do count to ten, make sure to let go of the power button, and but keep holding the home button. And your computer should get an alert that says um, DFU mode device or something, something like that. And iTunes will recognize it. Um, and your phone has to have a blank screen. Must have a blank screen. Um, no, I don't want to download 2.0.2. Don't transfer. So I'm going to cancel my sync for right now. So, if you're on 2.0.2 already and you've made your firmware and you're done in WinPhone and you have, you have to make sure your iPod is in DFU mode or your iPhone, um, just hit shift on your keyboard and click restore and it will automatically go to my desktop and it should be saved to your desktop or wherever you saved it so look for it and make sure it says iPod 2.0.1 custom restore just as long as it says custom and whatever firmware you made the custom firmware for you're good so just open it and let iTunes do its thing and in a while you will have a pwned iPhone or iPod 2.0 jailbroken with installer Cydia with a new WinPhone 2.5. So I know I kind of did an overhaul on this video. It's about to be 10 minutes. I'm scared. It's at 9:50. I'm gonna stop this video right now because I really do want it to upload to YouTube. This is my iPod Touch. I help you guys all the time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And this video is done because.